Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this uh, 2020 webinar on document management systems. My name is Ian Fletcher. Good morning, and I'm sitting here with Alison Jackson from um, Linden House. Good morning, Alison. Good morning, everybody. And you're all very welcome to listen in for an hour today, and we're going to talk about document management systems. So, what, what should folks look for when they're they're thinking about buying a document management okay. system? But there's a little checklist here that everyone should really think about. Firstly. Any technology you're going to adopt should be easy to use. You're busy people, you need to get on with your core business, you don't want to create a lot of downtime in moving ahead with, with a new document management system. So it must be simple or it won't be embraced. Most importantly, it should be legally admissible. There is no point buying a scanner, scanning documents into Windows and saying, oh, I've got a paperless office, because it's not a legally admissible way of working. What the portal is going to do for you is completely secure document delivery. And as Ian's already alluded to, it will be illegal to email sensitive information within the next, whether it's six months, a year, 18 months, who knows. But it started in the States, so it's not going to be long coming. The document's held in a secure environment, so only the recipient can gain access to it. The third point here, which is quite nice, you can retract a document back from the portal. So you can retract a published document should you wish. So you maintain control of that document at all times. So I'm now just going to scan in a document that uh, Ollie gave me a couple of minutes ago. Everything is scanned, double-sided, and the software will delete any blank pages. So you never have to change the scanner settings. So I've just scanned three pages in. It looks to me like something you've received from the Hilton. Yep, yeah, we've had a Hilton bill from the Hilton, Edinburgh Grove, Grosvenor, another bill from them. Uh, well, they're all one bill from... You can see the thumbnail on there. the right here of the document. It's keeping the second page because we've actually got hole punches in here. But we can change the scanner setting to see that that is noise, so it won't actually be seen. So. There's the document on the screen. That's the thumbnail on the... Oh, there we are. There we are. There's the thumbnail of the document. See that it looks as it should look. And then you can send that directly to your in-tray. Right, what we want to do is um, we want to file this document. So on the right, these are my filing cabinets. I've got a cabinet for my client information. And then you would have one for marketing, one for IT, one for finance, perhaps one for HR. Now this is, a cru this is the crux of this system, isn't it? You've got to, when you put a system in, I think this is the most important thing that you did with me, was actually say, Ian, how do you file your stuff in your, at your, your office? And you, and you said, well, I want to file for this. I said, I want to file for that. I want this. I want that. Because yes. firms do file their stuff in different ways, do don't they? So there's the P11Ds. That come back on the so you've got three today, documents yeah. that relate and to that. And you can see them as a list, or we've got a very nice thumbnail view here. And there we are. You can see them. In fact, most, most folks would probably like to see the thumbnail view, wouldn't they, when they're yeah. using this, because that's what I like. fit the thumbnail to the page, and we can do it for the whole file. So even though the file is very vast, many people like to work visually with images. That's the whole file as a thumbnail. So... Now, what's the other stuff that you can do on this? How do you say you've got a client ring you up and, and, and ask a technical question and you want to do a search or, you know, can you do this, show us the search text? Yeah, we can search the content of what's written on the pages. So that document I just scanned in for 2020. That was the Hilton yeah. Grosvenor. We just took a look at something off this copy of that invoice, 3 3. Now what Alison's doing is looking at the invoice now, folks, and she's actually typing in copy of invoice um, and she's going to retrieve just a keyword. I just typed in the copy of the VAT invoice number. So I've typed in the invoice number, 330397. You will now see that it's brought the 2020 invoice back and it's actually highlighted where it's found that text. If I now open the invoice up, it's showing it's found it on page one, and here on the screen is where it's found that, that entry. This is the email that your client will receive saying you've got a secure document. I've sent you a secure document. If you want to view it, you have to click on this link. So it's very seamless. The client, your client, clicks on the link. And that email goes into their normal outbox just saying there's a new document in their folder on the cloud. Yeah, so they get an email with a link, they click the link, and it brings them straight onto the portal. So now this is live. In the cloud, in at the, the cloud. virtual cabinet portal. This is the live cloud portal. 